Hello, this is Indrani Sen and we are doing a lecture series on Entity Relationship Model. Students particularly find it difficult to draw the Entity Relationship Diagram uh, when a specific case is given. So we are going to take a specific case and we are going to discuss how to draw the diagrams from scratch. This is about uh, an organization called Sabu Car Rental Services which is a uh, kind of showroom which uh, gives the cars for rent for their business and they want to automate their business uh, they offer different types of cars on rent uh, as it is specified in the case study now when a case study is given the first uh, advice which i like to give you is uh, jot down the important points uh, and write it in your paper that which are the which are important for you and underline the uh, underline the persons or the subjects or the nouns because here we need to identify the entities first as you uh, know the entities uh, form the basic of um, ER model entities and relationships so you have to identify the entities so in this case we have to identify all the nouns uh, which are related to this case study here uh, we have to identify the at entities attributes and the relationships so uh, when you read the case study the more entities and attributes you come across uh, underline them or highlight them so that it's easy for you to draw the ERD model each type of car has maximum seating available and the tariff per kilometer so here it is talking about the car that it is talking about that how many uh, seats are uh, how many maximum seats which are available in one car and uh, what is the tariff uh, price per kilometer for that car so this is uh, about the car these are the characteristics of the car so we can uh, consider them as the attributes now the uh, next point is the management wants the system to show availability and the number of cars of each type for serving the inquiry so we also need to know the availability that is uh, uh, how many cars are available which is actually a cons uh, a something which is a calculated value because availability will come out uh, come out of uh, two things that is a, that is the total number of cars which are present in the system as well as uh, the number of cars which has gone out for rent so if we subtract that then we can get the availability so here basically the availability comes as a derived attribute as we have already discussed about attributes now uh, please check my lecture on the attributes ERD attributes and in that uh, this is this comes as a derived attribute that is it uh, need not be stored in the system it has just to be calculated so what do we need to store we need to store the number of cars for each type next uh, we are talking about the system should have a provision for booking the car so uh, we need to know when the car was booked so booking uh, is basically an entity which can be identified by uh, the booking id the date of booking the car which you have booked the customer who has booked the car all these details before the booking is made the customer needs to provide personal information and driving license details so before the booking booking is made the customer needs to provide personal information and driving license details that is we need to store the details of the customer the uh, details of the customer can include the personal information as well as his driving license so whatever is given in your case study it is not specified that what is personal information is regarding uh, in this case i will advise that you have to assume some things because in the case study whatever is given that is compulsory to include but you can also make some assumptions so personal information you can well assume that it can be uh, his name address phone number email id and so on and here we need a primary key for each entity and here you can see driving license is a unique id so which can become the primary key uh, booking is typically stored as booking date date of rent duration in hours and type of vehicle so here the uh, attributes which are related to the booking entity is already given uh, so next uh, what is said is once the booking is done a unique booking number is provided to the customer as we know that all entity should be ideally be a strong entity it should have uh, it should have a primary key 
for their reference which they need to produce at the time when they come to collect the car so once the customer uh, is uh, giving the car uh, that is uh, once they collect the car they have to give their unique booking id number and once they return the car they have to uh, do a transaction transaction means they have to do the payment so at that time a new transaction record is created for each booking after the card is returned specifying kilometers used amount to be paid date of payment so most of the things are given these are also the attributes from here we have to generate the erd the first step of entity relationship model is to identify the entities so uh, uh, we have already studied the case study we have uh, gone through the case study in detail and we are now in the process of identifying the entities so entities are car small car suv muv customer booking transaction the good entities which we can uh, derive from the case study now uh, there are many uh, students who make the mistake that uh, they say that car like maruti why can't it be an entity now uh, these are the the values cannot be the entity the entities are uh, basically um, abstracted uh, kind of things which have which room which have only attributes here we cannot say classes because classes uh, have the methods also so entities are not classes they are 2d uh, two dimensional things which are abstracted things which are um, specified in the in the system and uh, they have the names at uh, the entity names and the attributes and each attributes will have a value like car can have the name of the car the car number which have specific values but uh, in as such maruti and uh, honda and uh, for example swift they cannot be entities because they are uh, they are the values of some attributes they can be values for the car name or car model and so on once we have found out the entities we have to identify the attributes of each entity so we take one entity at a time which we have already discussed these are the entities which are already there uh, in this small car suv and muv are type of cars so they are like uh, they are child entities they are not the individual entities they are dependent on this car so they are the types of car so that will also handle separately first we talk about the entity car the entity car has attributes like it has to be identified by the primary key which is car number next maximum seats available tariff per kilometer a car has three uh, different types like small car suv and muv they are like, they are representing an inheritance so we can uh, show that with a easy diagram now uh, what is inheritance now here we are talking about small car is already inheriting the um, specifics or the characteristics of the parent car that a small car will also have a car number uh, maximum seat available and tariff per kilometer apart from that they can have some specific attributes like here we have taken the specific attribute as number availability that is how many number of uh, small car suv and muv are available next we talk about the entity customer a customer here in this case study is identified by the driving license number other if it is not mentioned you can also keep a customer id name address telephone number and dov we have assumed next we talk about the booking booking is a entity which is identified by the booking id which signifies that uh, what is the booking done on which date the booking was done uh, and what is the specifics of that booking so which car you have booked what is the car type uh, the duration for which you have booked the date on which you have rented and uh, the day when you have booked done the booking next we talk about the entity transaction uh, 
uh, which is identified by transaction ID, return date, kilometer use, date of payment and so on. This transaction uh, entity refers to the uh, payments done uh, when the card is returned. So it, uh, it contains all the attributes which are related to payment. Now in case you are uh, you want you want to pay by card or you want to pay by um, uh, cash you want to store the card details here that also can be stored here but it is not mentioned in the case study so we have not included next we have to do the relationship so uh, for the for the relationship we have to it's very necessary to identify the cardinality between the uh, entities and uh, hence we are identifying the business rules we have identifying the business rules of the entities between the two entities the first association which we are talking about is an inquiry about association uh, between the customer and the car <coughs> the customer can inquire about a car that is um, if you want to book a car or you want to rent a car uh, what you first do is you find out the availability of that car so this is the relationship about a customer can inquire about uh, multiple cars uh, the same car can be inquired by multiple customers the, so the cardinality here is many to many the next uh, relationship which we are talking about is between the it's a ternary relationship between customer booking and car so here a customer can request the booking of a car here all the three entities customer booking and car all the three entities are involved in this relationship uh, so one customer can do multiple bookings but one booking is related to uh, only one car uh, so uh, this cardinality you can uh, you can write down the cardinality is 1 is to n is to 1 and here car for booking a car a customer and car both are uh, mandatory participants so I have included a double line here to show mandatory participation of a car in the booking that is without a car a booking is not possible next we are talking about a customer and a transaction uh, while doing the payments a customer and the transaction these two entities are involved in the payments and one customer can do multiple transactions but uh, one transaction uh, can be done by only one customer so here the association is one too many for uh, customer and transaction yes a customer is a mandatory participant in the transaction because uh, while making a payment a customer has to be compulsory present here we are talking about booking and transaction that is a booking also leads to transaction apart from customer a booking is also related to transaction if the ca card has been booked then only you have to pay so uh, if, if it is a booking then a transaction have happened and for one booking there is only one transaction that is uh, each unique booking ID will uh, give rise to a unique transaction ID so these are the business rules which I have identified from the case study it will not be given to you you have to identify it by analyzing your uh, case study which is given to you next what we have to do because we have identified all the associations and we have identified the entities and we have written their attributes it's time for only assembling the entities and relationships into one ERD take take care and manage the space we are just writing the entities attributes and we are just connecting with a line with the particular relationship it's compulsory to write the cardinality please don't forget to write down the cardinality cardinality is compulsory in a ER model and just uh, and see that the lines do not cross each other a neat diagram leads to better understanding that's all about a case study in your uh, relationship entity relationship model and if you have any kind of doubts you can just mention in the comments and uh, send me mails thank you so much for listening